Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 6th, 2023. Well, this is the second day broadcasting from um, the Doan University, where I'm taking a class from a, a dorm room, believe it or not. Um, I had some questions yesterday about um, what I what I'm doing there. So I'm going to show you really, really quick here before we get started. Um, I'm taking a carving class from a famous carver by the name of Vic Hood. And uh, this was the giant block of wood I started with. Um, and, whoops, excuse me. And this is the end of the first day of carving. And we're carving a long day. These, this is a lot of wood to remove. Um, we're, we're carving from about 8 in the morning to uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. And then this is the end of second day of carving. So that's where I'm at, at right now, where I'll be starting this morning. So, thanks for the questions on that. Let's um, take a look at these markets for today. Diamonds had a little bit of selling yesterday, a little bit of a pullback, but nothing major. So, remember what we talked about yesterday is the, the next test of the market is to find out whether or not we're going to hold some of these support levels. If we hold support level here, bounce, or pull on back into here even, and bounce. I'm going to call that bullish and we'll be watching carefully here to see whether or not we can push on up in the chart. Now this morning we've got a little pre-market selling going on here. Nothing major. Um, just a little bit of a pullback here this morning. Um, we've got Asian markets last night were mixed, closed mixed overnight. Uh, European markets are down across the board this morning with some concerns um, after uh, Asian market, or excuse me, Australia raised rates and um, just some overall pullback um, issues. We've got bond yields moving slightly lower here this morning. That may take a little bit of pressure off of things. And then if you caught some of the news, there's some new banking regulations coming in that's going to require possibly some really big increases in reserves for them, adding some additional pressures. So um, if the diamonds were to find some bullish activity here this morning, I would look for a retest of this um, price area right in here to see whether or not we can push up and test that area. If we break through there, well, I think there is that possibility that we're coming up here to test this major line of price resistance in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration today and continue to push um, on down, I'm going to come right down in here. You notice this support area in the chart kind of runs across in this area holding. So I'll look for a retest down in there. Now that creates a little bit of a problem because that would be um, maybe one of the first failures of a trend line here. But I don't think it's major if um, we hold um, at the bottom of that candle or somewhere in that range along that support area because that's where we can bounce. If we take a look at our technicals here um, in these charts, well, you can see we're still above our 50-day moving average here in the diamonds. So this pullback is just a normal pullback to the 50-day moving average. We'll see if we can hold in there as we move forward. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. As you can see, also um, pulling back just a little bit yesterday, nothing major here at all. As a matter of fact, very benign pullback in the chart. So if the bears were to continue pushing back, about the only support we have is the bottom of that candle on Friday, or we pull back into this area here, which would obviously be a very painful pullback here in the market. So watch that carefully if the bulls find inspiration well once again i'm going to suggest that we push right up in here at this level in the chart and uh, keep going remember we continue to have this upside trend going on here in the spy so there's nothing in these charts that are bearish here on the 
on the spy. Um, our technicals here are extremely bullish. Uh, if there was anything to be said here, maybe just a little bit parabolic on that move on Friday, needs a rest or consolidation. But other than that, very bullish chart. If we were to take a look at our QQQ, well, QQQ remains quite bullish. And um, we had some news yesterday on um, Apple uh, new VR set. Um, didn't really move the stock, but we'll we'll have to keep a close eye on that as it goes forward. But right now, just a little bit of resting consolidation in here on the QQQ. Now we did have Asian markets. The uh, Hong Kong was down last night. A little bit of pressure there, so I wouldn't be too surprised. We're we're so overly extended here in the Nasdaq, particularly on the big tech stocks. If they just rest, this index should rest a little bit. But any rest or pullback into this support area here or above this trend right here. I think is bullish so I think we could we could rest all the way out into here and still contact that upside trend no harm no foul but it may be requiring just a little bit of a pause here and one of the things we do have to think about is we're going to be facing an FOMC um, next Wednesday um, so there could be a little bit of uncertainty about how um, a rate increase or a not rate increase is going to affect the market. So watch carefully. If the bulls were to find inspiration here on the day, well, I'm going to continue to say, well, here, let me just leave that there and back this up. I think maybe we come back up here and we test these resistance levels in the chart. And that's a fairly significant resistance level if we can push on up through there. Let's take a look at our Russell. The old IWM broke through that resistance up there. And remember, I was going to keep that turned red until we make proof that we can hold it as support. And that pullback here in the chart um, yesterday showed that, well, maybe a little bit too much too soon on Friday. And we pulled back below that level. And we're continuing to see just a little teeny tiny bearish pressure here this morning. So if those uh, bears were to continue... I'm going to suggest a retest of that low of the Friday candle. And if that were to fail, then we're probably pushing just a little bit lower. You can notice right in here, we've got some price support through this area of the chart. So watch that um, as a price support level. If the bulls find inspiration today, well, let's look for a retest of that um, Friday candle high to see if we can break through and hold that price support in the chart. Now, one thing we do want to keep in mind is we have this little bit of an uptrend with that higher low starting to happen. So it is entirely possible that IWM could rest all the way out to here or even pull back into here and still hold on to that bullish upside trend. Let's take a peek at our VIX. Our VIX really didn't do much of anything yesterday with that pullback. No fear in the market. We continue to stay kind of in this complacency zone here. So if uh, the bulls were to uh, get excited here today, I think then uh, our only place to go is, is um, on down. And we're starting to look at areas down here in the um, 10s and 11s, which is an extreme area of complacency in the market. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, once again, we might probably pop up in here. And we're going to retest this 15, 16 handle area of the chart. If the bears can push on through that, well, we're back up here in this trade in this range, uh, somewhere between that uh, 15 and 18 trading range in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 indicator, give me just a second. Remember, uh, sound is probably different. I hope everything is okay. You guys are hearing well. And the um, I'm working from a single screen, so I'm um, kind of clicking around an awful lot here. So hopefully that's not creating any issues for anyone. If we take a look at um, or T2122, although we pulled back yesterday, this wasn't a major pullback at all, as you can see in the chart. We've come back down into a little bit of a price support area of the chart and kind of hanging in this area, but it was a relief. So if the bulls find inspiration today, then we might have that opportunity to push back up here into that um, bearish reversal zone of uh, T2122. But if the bears continue to find that um, 
that inspiration today, uh, pull back all the way down into here would be possible. Now, keeping in mind, we've held a couple of times here recently, right around that 50, that mid middle of the road. So if we were to rest or pull back into that uh, middle of the road, uh, as we kind of wait on some additional data, th that might be um, a reasonable place to go. So keep a close eye on that. A little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback, not, not terrible. If we take a look at our, um, T2108, our percentage of stocks holding above our 40-day moving average, as you can see, just pulled back ever so slightly yesterday. No harm, no foul here at all. So looking at this, you know, 48, 49% of the stocks holding above their 40-day. We've got some price support in here. So this is just a little resting pullback. If we can hold in here, those bulls can find inspiration. Well, maybe we push on through. If the bears find inspiration and we push back down in there, maybe there's a little bit more question that would come into the market. But remember, we've got some support underneath that level as well. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107, also just a little teeny tiny pullback yesterday. Nothing really going on here of major consequence. Um, holding some support, you can see still holding that uh, a a break, downtrend break here in the chart. So we're looking pretty good. If we had a little bit more bearishness and we broke that down, you can see where that could raise a little bit of concern. You know, right there around 43% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. You start to raise a little bit of question on folks if we were to drift back down into the 30s. But remember, there is a price support under there if we do drift down into that area. If we take a look at our T2101, you know, one of the things we've been struggling with for so long is momentum. And you can see, well, yesterday momentum kind of faltered, maybe just a little bit on that pullback. We're starting to show evidence of a hook there. That's just that idea that we could get that resting pullback or consolidation coming in the market. So no particular worries there at the moment. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, just a second here guys, doing a lot of clicking around here. On our economic calendar, For today, we don't have much of anything going on here. I mentioned earlier that bonds were pulling back, bond yields were pulling back just a little bit. We have a couple of uh, bill settlements, bill announcements here today uh, on the calendar, but as you can see, really nothing else. Uh, to um, inspire the market here on the economic calendar. Now, since we've had so many bad news reports on the economic calendar, maybe that's a good thing. Um, so watch that carefully. Keeping in mind, uh, Wednesday, we're gonna start hitting uh, some of these numbers that could move the market a little bit, um, international trading goods uh, being one. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And on our earnings calendar, we have, um, well, just a few things here to be paying attention to. First off, um, ABM uh, would be a notable today. ABM's been running up in this chart, as you can see, running through some resistance, continuing to move in this upside trend. This little resting pullback in here would seem to set up an opportunity, and that earnings report could be the thing that just really changes things and makes us move along about ASO. ASO reporting today, obviously in a pretty ugly downtrend, maybe um, earnings report will make that decision whether we continue falling or if we start to see a little bit of bullish action coming up in there. Um, take a look at Casey, Casey's General Store, and a nice little rally, but um, if you notice that we're kind of moving in a little bit of a channel here to the downside, that could be a bull flag if we can get enough um, boost in an earnings report here and it could also create a little bit of a problem if we break below that little channel so watch that one here today on inch report let's see we're going to have cbrl well, cracker barrel action obviously very bearish chart not much going on there could make a decision on a change if that can get um, um, well, a good report would would uh, maybe finally move that one up a little bit. Um, 
let's go to CEIN. CEIN also reporting, whoops. A little dyslexia there, C-I-E-N. Um, pushing up here, um, really nice, as you can see, a big pop here in the pre-market. Nice little pattern there heading into the earnings report, but I would watch that resistance in the chart. Could play, still place a lid on uh, that chart. Let's take a look. Um, we've got uh, Dave and Busters that will be reporting today, obviously in a, quite a downtrend here and um, trying to come into some price support. We'll see if we can get enough boost here in that chart to break that downtrend. Let's look at Bear with me here, guys. I apologize. G-I-I-I. -I. Nice pop here this morning on its earnings. Moving up nicely. Breaking through this resistance level. Watch the resistance level above. Looking good there this morning. Let's take a look at Momo. Got to type the right symbol to get there. Uh, Momo looking pretty good here, a little consolidation in the chart, a little resting pattern here, trying to move on up and break through that resistance out there. Keep an eye on that. Got Smuckers here this morning. Ooh, Smuckers. There you go. That's going to leave a mark. Um, big, ugly pre-market sell-off here on their earnings report failing at a price resistance um, we'll want to watch this price support in here but obviously Schmucker's not feeling so good this morning SFIX will be another report here this morning watch that closely another notable um, watch that resistance level in the chart but we have broken the downtrend if we can hold the higher low in here that may be just what the doctor ordered and last but not least, actually, I'm going to say that's it for today. So um, nothing more on that calendar. Whoops. Nothing more on that calendar to be worried about for earnings reports this morning. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, remember, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you leave those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for doing that. You know, um, I apologize that I probably won't be able to answer comments this week. Um, I, I am going through and reading them really quickly, but um, just so busy in what we're doing here. So um, please forgive me for that, but thank you for continuing to do that. That does help an awful lot. And also, just a huge shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link, which is just below the title of the video. You can grab there and support the channel that way. So thank you so much. Taking a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Um, take a look at this DKNG. You know, one of the things that we've been seeing is a big, lot, well, a lot of strength in um, online gambling. And we've held in this price support here. I mentioned this once before. We've held in this price support. We're bouncing back up here to resistance. I'd be watching this area here, particularly if we pop out and hold. Um, we could have a nice move here in DKNG soon if that can follow through and break through that resistance. But I want to take a look at Fubo. Now, Fubo kind of disappointed me here. I thought it, um, I had a price alert up in this chart. But when I say disappointed, it didn't quite get it out, out of that area. But the good news is, is we're still holding in here around this support level. So perhaps we just needed to rest a little bit longer maybe to come out here to uh, this trend. So I would watch this in here. If this consolidates right up in this area and holds, I would still look for that opportunity that that could move on through. And if you notice real close, if we kind of zoom in here just a little bit, you can see right there, there's a little bit of a downtrend right there. So if we were to pop through and hold in there, 
that certainly would be uh, constitute a, another breakout and um, an awesome uh, maybe opportunity there. So I'd watch that close. Now the oil this morning, oil was really happy yesterday. Oil's not so happy today, pulling back quite a bit um, in the pre-market. But take a look at Valero. We may be reaching a place here where we're just kind of oversold in some of these stocks. And you can see possibility of a little bit of a double bottom showing up here on Valero. Um, watch that downtrend right there. If we could pop up through and hold, then I'd be looking for some upside opportunities there in uh, Valero. Um, let's take a look. Rig was trying to do that earlier uh, last week. Struggling just a little bit right now, but you can see there's that downtrend break. And it's a pattern that I look for all the time. It's a very productive pattern. Once we break through, we break through and hold some support in that. If that can hold in this area, then look for that next opportunity to the upside. Uh, Carvana. Carvana had a really nice move here on Friday, resting a little bit in that chart. If you'll notice right in here, we have this nice little upside trend, a little resting pattern pulling back. We set up a nice opportunity there in Carvana. So with that, guys, I'm going to cut this video off because I don't want to make it too long and make sure I can get it uploaded before I have to take off. So I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Be safe. Be careful. I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have an awesome day.